So, I'm about to leave. I'm about to drive off and go to the airport because it's time to go see Batesy S. Yeah, I'm um, gonna throw something in my luggage real quick, but yeah, I'm excited. So, I am at the airport. Yay! Not so yay. As you can see, I'm in a garage. I pay more, pay more expensive parking because the economy lots were full, even though I drove through the apart economy lots to check. And like it was more so just that they didn't want to open them all up. Um, but yeah, so now I'm heading to go get on this flight and go see BTS. I don't know if you guys have seen the drone shots, but I'm sure you have. And yeah, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Through TSA, I pulled my hair down because they wanted to touch my hair and I'm just like, ah, no, yeah, it's awkward. Let me just pull it down. Um, so yeah, but yeah, through TSA. Now I get to wait. I'm almost at my gate because it's actually right real close. It's crazy how many more um, like terminals, gates, gates, that's what they are. How many more gates they've added since I've moved here. When I first moved here, there was like, I think there was like 18 total. Now there's like way more than that. I think there's like 30 now. It's still a tiny airport, but they just cram everything close together. But works for me, but yeah, I get to wait for a while, so we're gonna chill because and deal with all the ghost stuff because I am running a go for this. So y'all see that tomorrow morning when I have all of my stuff and yours together. And I'm leaving now. The sun is starting to come up. It's 6 a.m. Going back to the airport now. And oh my goodness. So what I did was um, I checked with the airline that I was originally supposed to be flying out with. My flight got delayed even further. It got pushed back till now 12.30. So I went and I booked another flight with another airline, Spirit. Mm -hmm. But um, I condensed my stuff into a smaller bag. And sorry, I'm currently walking to my car and the light is changing. But um, yeah, pretty much we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and try to book it over there. I have another flight. I still have this one still set up. But um, just in case anything goes wrong with the spirit flight, if that for some reason gets canceled, then I have I still have my original flight. Um, but I do now also have another flight that's also earlier and if this one does take off then then I do have um, my boyfriend's gonna call for me um, if I can't do it in time before I leave to pretty much cancel the outgoing only because I don't want it to cancel my incoming so but yeah hopefully this works out I agree for the flight do my makeup and charge my phone um, before my flight starts. Yeah. It's gonna be good stuff. On my way now, finally. About to be. But it's gonna work. Okay, so I'm finally here. It's almost one. And it's good meeting people when you end up going places. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am now at the end of the Merc line, which is very long, but it'll be okay because as I've been walking along it, I found that the line is actually moving pretty well. Moving. I'm here. It's 6 
glass of hock, and this is the first drink that I've had in 30 hours. Still haven't had food, but we're gonna work on that. We're gonna get inside first. But for now, I'm gonna walk around because everybody's crowding up on like two gates. But I waited in the merch line for like five hours, four and a half. And I need to get the premium photos and the key ring still. I got the rest of it. But we're gonna do this. I'll be here tomorrow morning. <laughs>
did their solo stages still because it's still the Love Yourself Tour, just like a remix kind of thing, like the encore. So they still did that, but what they did was they changed up the stages and how they were performed. So like, Hobie had like a new stand thing that he did his little dance thing on, and then they soaked everything. Jungkook flew, that was pretty cool. Um, Jimin started lemonade, in the bubble, lemonade, lemonade. Popped the bubble. Also, that outfit was really rude. You very clearly could see his head too. Um, Tay started on a freaking bed. Juni had Doctor Strange hands, as he called it. Lemonade, because, lemonade, like, lemonade. He was making stuff in the sky. Lemonade, lemonade, lemonade. On the screen and stuff. It was really, it was a cool effect. Um, lemonade, lemonade, lemonade. And then, lemonade, and then also, lemonade. So Jin had a huge, massive piano, and I forget what they changed about Yungi's. Yungi's starting, he started off with a door, um, which was a kind of cool entrance for it. So, But yeah, the, sh the show was actually really, really, really great, and I really loved it. I'm excited for tonight. I'm glad I won't get drenched, because the water cannon shot off twice during the show, and I didn't drive for hours because I was in a front section. Also, I keep getting Yoongi freebies. I already put one of my Yoongi freebies on my phone, but it's okay. I love Yoongi.
shine on us. Put your cell phones up in the sky. Come on, put your lighters up. Yeah. That's it. That's what we want. Okay. Oh, yeah. We prepared uh, this song for you because you are the light to our night. Please listen. Let's go. Let's go. Please keep your light shining. You're the reason in my life that keeps me going. You're the reason why I am here today. So, so I love you. Love you. Thank you. The fact that I'm with you makes it more, even more meaningful. Thinking of today, I want to come back to the Rose Bowl and relive the memories that we shared tonight. If you guys let us, I promise that we'll come back soon. It feels like I'm surrounded by stars tonight. So when we come to the stadium, we can kind of see the seats. It feels like I'm in an NBA Finals, actually. <laughs> and it just thinking about it, it really gets me pumped up. <laughs> Thank you for giving us an unforgettable night. Thank you, Army. Okay. I'll be down here with that. Yeah. Okay. 
It is a beautiful name, but I love you. <laughs> we received so much energy from the army. So, so uh, we can perform happily tonight. It's such a precious memory to all of us and this memory will stay that way forever. I'll never forget it. And I promise, we will promise, we'll come back. were the best, best, best kickoffs I ever had to start a team. Yeah, from 2013, six years we went through many, many names. You know, I was, uh, we was, we were R M J Howe, Jimmy, Chongo, Jim, V, Shredder. Boy band, K pop, seven boys from Korea, or the Screams, idol, artists, music, anything. And, and you guys, your names were, you guys were our school, you guys were our dream, you guys were our happiness, you guys were our wings, you guys were our cosmos, you guys were our lights and our light. You guys are our most beautiful moment in life. I love, I love all the names and all the all the words we had, but tonight is moment. Let's just forget it. You know, let's just call, call us, call each other. You know, we're just BTS. You guys are our man. At the same time, you guys are BTS and we were your army. Wherever you're from, wherever you speak, however old you are, you know, in this gospel, tonight, we all won. We speak the same language. This is comedian. What we call a comedian. I love it. We'll never forget all these, all these stories, Ali. This is the very last song for you guys. Let's go. Please put your cell phones on one more time for this song. It's over. My two days of seeing BTS at Speak Yourself tour are now over. I'm going back home. And I have a lot of feels. So. Last night was the day two, as you saw with the pictures um, and video. I had a spot that was further away, but that also meant it was a better spot because I could actually see everybody. So like when you're on the floor, 
the floor seats are actually not that great unless you're behind the extended stage and even then everything is flat so it gets harder to see the further back you are um, but if you're in the front section before the extended stage like they do most of most of the stuff on the extended stage so you end up not seeing a lot <laughs> and if you're off to the side and they're doing stuff on the main stage it also becomes really difficult to see because you can't see back into the stage because it's raised up so high so yeah pretty much the bowl seats like the seats on the outer ring actually ended up being better so I was happy that I did have those seats for day two and yeah next time they go for a stadium I'm probably I will unless I managed to get a ticket that's in the front section. I'll probably go for like the bowl straight straight on so I can see everything. Because um, yeah, I did enjoy myself more when I was actually able to see the guys, not just on a monitor, you know? Um, but it was really, really great. Jeannie almost cried. All the stages were still amazing. It had a slightly different feel from day one, but that, that's not a bad thing. Makes me want to go to all the stops. Obviously, I can't. That's like so many weeks worth of. Technically, if I could swing, somehow swing Chicago, if I could get a ticket cheap enough, which I probably could because they're selling tickets that are regularly relatively cheap, and I don't have anything to do next weekend. So I could always drive up to Chicago and go see BTS again encourage me make sure I don't do this <laughs> um, but yeah I'm I really I really love the tour again and I can't wait and I'm already hinting about coming back again so I mean I'd already heard rumors about something in October we'll see I heard something about a Dallas stadium being taken for October so that would likely mean that rather than doing they may have like the same number of stops or even roughly about the same, but they might do it in different cities rather than just have three. So that might be nice, but I'm, I'm really excited and I love them and I just love them more and more each time. June's final speech, which I should have already put in here already, was amazing. And the fact that everybody was just chanting Kim Namjoon was fantastic. Like. He deserves all the love. They deserve all the love, all seven of them. I love them all. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy. And I completely busted my ankle. I walk with a limp now, and I probably will for the next few days. But it was all worth it. All for BTS, and I would do it all over again. <laughs> exactly the same. All the pain, all the waiting, the delays, the extra money, I would do it all again and a heart <laughs> I love these guys um, but yeah if you guys are going to the shows and you're looking for tickets I would suggest if you can find anything straight on even if it's higher up go for it um, just the further back you can get if you can get in line with the extended stage um, and on to straight on those are probably the best spots that you can probably get because you can see everything much better so yeah but I still I love that you know and really the second day was even better there were there were definitely great moments and like the fact that you're there for the kickoff that was amazing but it was kind of like they almost settled into this groove for day two they knew how things were gonna go and it was just nice so I can't believe it's over there. there will be more BTS and I will be there, so guaranteed. This is, in case you didn't know, this is the ninth show that I've seen them at. I saw them at KCON, I saw them at Wings in uh, New Jersey Day 1, Wings in uh, New Jersey Day 2, then I saw them at Wings in LA. <laughs> day two, not day one, day two, so the finale of that, and then I saw them for, let me sell them Fort Worth, 
day one. Love yourself in Fort Worth day two. And then, um, now City Field. And then now we're going on Speak Yourself day one and Speak Yourself day two. So, nine times. A few more, and I would have spent essentially a day's, a full 24 hours worth this with them in concerts, and it's kind of a good feeling. So, a couple more concerts and we're there, but I love them, and yeah.